the frequency that they're using, which is 10 times faster than 4G, unfortunately, when it comes into connection with human bodies, causes cell poisoning, cell poisoning. So our bodies try to fight the radiation that is in the form of cell poisoning because of this frequency. It is effectively radiation. And what happens is our bodies uh, kick out the toxicity or toxins with some pro proteins and some DNA, RNA from our cells in the form of a chemical which is called a virus. So most diseases are excretions from cells that we are trying to pull out of our body or push out of our body. And it will head towards orifices to be excreted or um, expunged out of our body. So our noses or our mouths. So you can understand the picture I'm painting. So what's happening, sorry for the detail, but this is going to take a bit of time. What is happening is that um, 5G, the frequency and the power, which is 10 times more powerful than 4G, is reacting adversely with human cells, causing cells in our bodies to be poisoned, toxic, and our natural defense mechanism is pushing out that toxicity in the form of a virus. So what you're seeing is not coronavirus per se, you're seeing cell poisoning manifesting with fluids, chemicals, viruses that the body is trying to um, dispose of because it's harmful to its physical body. So all that's occurring around the world, and I hear your minds thinking, well, how can that be, Pastor? But I'll explain in a moment. All that's, recur all that's occurring in the world is a reaction to human bodies, to the electrification of the universe through 5G satellites, 5G towers, 5G cells that are being populated in major cities around the world. So this is what is causing this pandemic. So sorry to say, second point, this is the largest global cover-up in history for the impact on human beings based on technological advancements. So what is happening, it's not the coronavirus, it is a virus that is being produced by cell poisoning. And therefore, the virus that we have is really a measure or indication of our cells excreting toxins. This is what's killing people. So let me give you some facts that will hopefully make this compelling. So one of the first cities that Vodafone, Highway, and some of the other technology companies rolled out the ubiquitous blanket 5G. Guess where it was? Wuhan, China, where this coronavirus was supposedly meant to start in some fish market. That is complete nonsense. It, it's, it started as a result of radio active or radio radio frequencies at a high level creating radiation that was toxic to cells and that's why people were falling over dying in the streets etc so they've tried to cover it up so because it has a a flu type um uh, characteristics they are using coronavirus to try and hide the fact that people are dying from the 5g uh, frequency. So let me just explain. Other major cities that rolled this out, it takes six months for this to impact your physical body. So last year, um, obviously Wuhan was the first city. Um, then Spain rolled out 5G. Italy rolled out 5G. So you're seeing an uncommon level of fatalities because of the level of 5G penetration in these countries. Italy has had more fatalities than any other country because it is densely populated with 5G and the older generation doesn't have the immune system to fight against it. Let me move on because of time. There's a plan, so let me just quickly throw that up now in case people are starting to worry. God has not given us a spirit of fear, power and love and of a sound mind. No weapon formed against us can prosper. So please know that this is a weapon that has been formed, but it shall not prosper against God's people. And I'll tell you why in a moment. So these are some of the things. Now, you may or may not be aware that we are um, electromagnetic beings. I know that sounds a bit weird. Um, it's not new agey. I've studied it scientifically. Um, we have electric circuits. Our nervous system is really a complex network of, of, of wiring uh, that our masterful creator created us to have. So brain signals, synapse signals, information that travels up and down the body that tells you to move, to sneeze, to whatever, to fight disease. This is created by electrical circuitry that's in our body. The electrical circuitry then creates chemistry or chemicals 
different types of chemicals that we react to when we eat and when we do different things, subject to us being exposed to light and different things. Uh, and, and so we, um, we are predominantly water. And then there's obviously the physical mass of the body that houses everything. But ultimately, we are an electric circuit. So we react to frequencies. We respond to vibrations. We respond to energy. So electromagnetic energy, I haven't got time to deal with it, um, but basic includes gamma rays, x-rays, um, hence why when they do x-rays, they have to stand behind certain screens. Um, there is infrared, there is all sorts of different kinds of, of uh, electromagnetic energy that is just visible. One of the other visible is, is light, ultraviolet light and visible light. So that's one part of energy. The other part is charged particles, and I won't get into that, but that's protons and uh, all sorts of electrons and all sorts of different things that run about our university, sorry, universe, and we are... Um, given the capacity by God to be able to cope with these natural forces of energy running around the very solar system and into the Van Allen belt and around the world. What's the relevance? So million dollars putting 5G into the Hard Rock Stadium, hotels throughout Miami, even here at this amazing little uh, setup they got going on here. So what does that even mean? Like, do I get to stream Netflix a little bit faster? Oh no, it's way, way bigger than that. I'm Caleb why am I here? Well, when Verizon learned the Super Bowl was coming to Miami, it got here quick. I think our network team has uh, watch parties when they announce the Super Bowl location, you know, a number of years out because, you know, they know that if it's coming to their neck of the woods that, you know, they got to start planning. That's Nikki Palmer and she and her team are in the business of thinking ahead. With Super Bowl 54 still a couple of years out, they set up a command center and started laying down fiber so that they could blanket key sections of Miami in 5G. That includes many hotels, key tourist spots, and of course, the Hard Rock Stadium, where almost every square inch, the parking lot, the stands, all of it, is covered with 5G. We've spent over $80 million in Miami, and that doesn't just go into the stadium. Uh, but it does go into the stadium. We've outfitted it with 4G capacity, 5G capacity, Wi-Fi capacity. I think it's over 1,500 um, antenna nodes throughout the stadium. Then you go out into you know the, the parking areas that, that need to be cared for and the greater Miami area. The rumors you may have heard about uh, partial stadium coverage, wrong, it's covered, and it better be. All told, Verizon spent $80 million on this project, so it makes sense that it would set up this Super Bowl Live Experience Center in Bayfront Park to show Super Bowl fans what's possible during the big game. Information too, and you're gonna find this interesting. We're told that this is a pilot health screening location in, being done in conjunction with Prince George's County, the University of Maryland Medical Center, and Johns Hopkins Medicine. Now we have some pictures from overhead of what it looks like over there. Uh, the tents are step one of a larger effort to establish clinics where initial health screenings will be conducted and where eventually, you hear that word, eventually, on-site testing will take place once that option becomes available. That was a big question. Um, it is going up fast thanks to the work of the Maryland National Guard. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying, we're here to support Maryland uh, and, and in this case uh, particularly PG County um, but that's that's what we're here for. Hey folks, so it does seem like the 5G is the weapons being used um, and I want you to listen to what she has to say next. That, the, the first one was at Miami Stadium, the rig rollout, the opening scene of the Super Bowl was promoting the 5G everywhere, and you can see it's everywhere. And then also now what she's about to say is the only way you can get in, this is the FedEx building in Maryland, which was built out a few weeks ago, is if you have a doctor telling you you can go here. You can't just drive up and drive through. So it looks like the stadiums are going to be used for containment, uh, for uh, control using the 5G weaponry. It'll be a space fence, an energy field where people can't get in, get out, mind controlled, whatever they want to do, the ability to do it, the technology is there. But but listen to what she says right here. With a health provide, healthcare provider, that is what would get you here for what will initially be health care screenings, eventually testing. Live in Landover, Jackie Benson, News 4.
So that was a few weeks ago, but why are they setting it up where you where their drive throughs are going on everywhere, yet they set up a huge military installations around these sporting centers? And the last sporting event we get to, uh, we saw was the Super Bowl, um, since this all broke out. So I want to bring it home here to Mendocino County, Ukiah. This is in the north end of Ukiah. Uh, and I just spotted this the other day, and I want to thank Corey for sharing the pictures. Um, and I want to show you how fast and furious they are putting up 5G. Even Jimmy rigging this, uh, uh, just putting it on the fly systems that they're doing. And take a look at the scaffolding and, and whatnot. It's just like they're having to throw this stuff up, like, so fast, it's, it's just beyond the pale. And the other thing I want to bring to your attention here, if I can zoom in a little bit, which is not allowing you to do it, is is look at all the all of the cells being put in here and here, and they're yuck stop a uh, signpost. So they're literally not even planning on this. They're putting it up as well. Just use the signpost and put up some scaffolding and put it right next to it. And then, as you can see in these next pictures, you see this big, huge transformer centers, power centers. These are all black fiber cables that are going up. They're they're really large, and it goes in every direction. And it does look as though, look, there's a better picture, you can see the cables going all the way up and the towers are pointing in every single direction like they are going to use frequencies 5G to initiate, you know, in every town and every city where they can, um, the, the 5G turning on to cause the... Uh, uh, the uh, altitude sickness to cause the oxygen deprivation um, and all the uh, hypoxia that's caused respiratory illnesses that happens when they turn up these frequencies. I mean, this this has gone up just since 321. Let me go back a little bit here. Um, this is this is a tree that's just in the other end of town. Um, this just went up recently. Uh, and so this is in Ukiah, California, about two and a half hours north of San Francisco. And these are all just recent installations right next to a dish spot. They put in another tower. I mean, this is a town of maybe 16,000 people. Oh, to get faster internet speed. And you see the big tower sitting in the background there? I mean, there is a purpose behind all this. But I just wanted to bring your attention to dark fiber. And I want to play a little video on this dark fiber I made last year. Um, about the underground fiber optics, the underground 5G that's going on that nobody's talking about. Uh, so take a listen here and learn about dark fiber. I just published this uh, also on my channel too, so please learn about dark fiber as well. ...and ready to use. It has unlimited capacity, unlimited bandwidth capacity, and dark fiber has unlimited expansion capability. This is going underground. And as you can see from this video from Jeff Snyder, you can see that even after the, the houses and the buildings are torched, the fiber optics, which are laying all over Paradise as well, all over Santa Rosa, as I'll show you, it's happening. Here, take a look. And before I show this, I just want to just put it out there that are they burying these 5G dark fiber cables so that when they do the scorched earth and they burn everybody out or they flood everybody out, the underground network, just like the Gwen, the ground uh, wire, wireless uh, emergency network the military uses, the, the big 200-foot towers, will they be operating everything from underground? This is the massive operation going on in Paradise right now. But take a look after the fires. It's still there. Do are the fires in your neighborhood. These are directed energy weapon fires, or electromagnetic frequencies. This is the warning, underground fiber optic cable buried, plastic. Still very much intact on the other end, somewhat intact here. In my first video, you'll see me peel it off when it's completely melted into the ground here. Okay, look at the lines here, look what they're doing. Now, this is where they're running more lines. They said they were fiber optics, these guys, they said they were fiber optics. Look at these massive lines, they're fiber optics on here, and the cherry picker. What are you guys putting in? And then look at here. What is this? HP Communication. HP Communication. U.S. Department of Transportation ID. Let's get that. Now watch this, folks, right down the road. Now watch this, folks, right down the road. Cables like this. I mean, give me a break. That's fiber optic cables from SonicNet going to the school children. Those massive 
lines in there, the blue and the red. If somebody can find out what blue and red are for, what the different colors mean, that'd be great. But in no way is this going. There's one school right here. No way is it going for the kids. No freaking way. It's going down into there. Second location. They got the cherry picker. Now look at those lines, how heavy those are, folks. They're massively, and then he's running another line up there as well. I mean, look at how heavy they're laden on these poles that can't handle. They, they, they're not made for this kind of weight. And they got this cherry picker. And I want to bring your attention to the uh, activists here. Um, we're seeing a lot of stories about uh, starting in the UK where five mass towers are being taken down and they're being burned and YouTube's reacting by, uh, by uh, censoring anybody that links 5G to the coronavirus as being fake news, false news. And then some of you activists online I'm seeing are saying, yeah, burn down the towers, take down the towers. You're looking at the trees, folks. Sorry to say, truth be told, it's not going to change anything. They've got thousands and tens of thousands of, of 5Gs and these controlling mechanisms of frequency control of humanity above us. And they've got miles and miles and, and, and just incredible uh, uh, bandwidth under your feet as I just showed in that video as well. So you're, you're focusing on the minutia of reacting and shutting us down because, you know, the activists are, are going out and taking down towers when you're going to accomplish nothing. Nothing will be accomplished by taking down these towers when there's so many other factors being involved in the frequency modulation controls to either uh, you know, commit the genocide or commit the fake genocide, depending if, if whatever the news sources say. Um, but then again, so folks, don't be all excited when these things see, seeing this news about these towers and please don't promote, Hey, they took down another 5G tower. That's what they want you to do. And it only gives them further ammunition to be taking down these sites, uh, from people like Ashley, who is doing yeoman's work. Uh, Joe Embriano, Embriano and others that are, are trying to bring the awareness of the connection between 5G and the coronavirus. You're playing into their hands. Meanwhile, we're seeing further and further evidence of schools where the 5G is going up fast and furious as well. And people around the country reporting their school systems uh, are putting this uh, out uh, and this was just after Trump passed the new Secure 5G and Beyond Act last week. During all the turmoil and all that's going on in the world, he has time to go in and sign the Secure 5G and Beyond Act of 2020. So they are massively rolling out this 5G everywhere, and they're jimmy-rigging it. They're putting it in schools everywhere you look. And, and you just have to ask yourself, why during all that's going on is Congress, House of your not representatives, uh, the president of the CEO of the corporation USA Inc., why are they prioritizing putting up millions, tens of millions of dollars to boost 5G security and availability so you can download non-sporting events, your Netflix faster, which was always told the story why they were putting this in? No, it's for the enslavement of humanity for the mass control of our frequencies of our our beings which were frequencies as the gentleman earlier spoke about as tesla said everything relates to frequency and vibration and energy and that's what their ultimate game is ultimate control so please take this to heart understand what it is we are frequency beings we have love in our hearts we open up our heart chakra and that will counter 
a lot of the the negative aspects of them turning these systems on and over the months that it turns us into uh, respiratory illnesses and breaks down our immune system and whatnot. We are more powerful than the darkness when we shine our light. And we know, we must not give into it. I had Dr. Luis Garcia last night on a, on a webinar telecast and he was talking about what he's seeing in people and those that are showing signs of stress, anxiety, fear, loss, depression, their bodies are shutting down. Those that are keeping their heart light and open and they're keeping themselves sane and understanding that this is a process we all have to go through because we haven't been paying attention to what's important for the future of all and let things go too far, we understand we have to go through this. We understand that this is a great calling and to keep ourselves light and to understand this is the beginning of the end of the darkness. They've shown their hand. They cannot, they, we know what they're doing now. So now it's up to us. There will be a time for us to step up. There will be a time for us to make the changes needed. They're going to do what they're going to do. We're going to watch what they're going to do. And in response, we'll do what we can do about this. But plan on sticking around by keeping your heart open, understanding this is the long haul now, understanding they have come at us fast, furious, and hard. But in the end, we will win. We will win in the end because we have love in our hearts. And love overcomes hate. Hate cannot overcome love. Light ends darkness. Darkness cannot put out light. Shine yourselves bright, folks. Tag, you're it.